What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over an another problem at Coder Beginner Contest 171B, Mixed Juice. So pretty much you're just given the prices. Uh, okay, how about I just rephrase this problem because it's not that it's, uh, not, not that difficult. You want to sum up the K, all K smallest prices of the fruits. That's basically the problem. You give an array, sum up all the K, K smallest items of the fruit. So basically you have like N fruits and you have the prices for all them. And you want to choose K fruits of each single ch uh, chosen kind of the fruit. And you want to find the minimum possible total sum of these fruits. So basically all you want to do is find the K, K smallest fruits and then sum up all those ones pretty much from the um, first smallest to the K smallest. So what do I mean by K smallest? Like first smallest, second smallest, third smallest, fourth smallest, up to the K smallest, and then sum them up. Um, if you this this problem is basically a variant of the K smallest K smallest um, value in array or K largest. If you want to know that, I have like you could check out one of my videos on K smallest sum on lead code question. It's basically the same thing. Only difference is that we're not just returning the k to the smallest, we're summing up them, okay? So I'll just explain to you guys how my code, what I did for the code, and then yeah. So what did I do? Pretty much you have to use a heap. Um, you could also just sort it, because uh, apparently on at code contest, they don't really care about the, it's not like an interview where they care about the space complexity. Well, some contests do, some don't though, but yeah. So what I do, I read in n, I read in k. So n is the size of the array that you have. k is just the the k value that you want. All right. I created my my array of n plus one. The reason why I do n plus one because I want to in index it from one. I don't want to index it from whatever value it is. I just did this because I, I wanted to. Okay. Um, you could you could index it from zero. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, as long as you read in the values in your array, but now what did I do here? So I created this, this, um, this priority queue, which is a max heap. This priority queue uses a max heap. Um, yeah. So if you don't put in like the greater comparator here, it's um, it would be a min heap. But this is a max heap. Like priority queues, by default they're max heap. All right. So what I do now? Um, I write in every single value of my every single value of my array, right, that I've read in. We're supposed to have that. Remember, we have to read in all the values of our array. So that's for i equals zero, i is less than or equal to n, i plus plus, and then read in all the, each single value of your array. So then I check if my size of my heap is less than k, then I just push push the whatever value it is, like my current value into the priority queue, okay? Um, so that's gonna put the every k values, like all k values into the size of my priority queue, all right? So now I check if my, if these, if it's smaller than, if the current value that I read in is now smaller than the topmost value of my priority queue, right here, I'm going to eject it, pop it, and then I'm gonna put, add in the next smaller number, okay? Or next, um, hold up. E, if it's smaller, I pop it. Yeah, then I add the next smaller one number. Yeah, so this would get me all the kth smallest values of in my priority queue, right? All the kth smallest number values in my priority queue. After that, all I have to do is create a variable for my sum to the sum that I'm going to return, and then I just while my priority queue is not empty, I'm just going to add every single value of the top of the priority queue, and I just eject each value, right? of the top of the priority queue. And then, yeah, after that, I just return. No, not return, I just print out my total sum that I added for every single value in my priority queue. And then that, that's pretty much it. That's ba basically how you do this problem. Um, this problem is basically the same thing of the K, I have like a whole array uh, playlist of like heap questions I did on lead code. You guys should check that out first, and then come back to the, this video because it wouldn't. This video wouldn't make any m much sense if you don't understand what I did. But basically, I went over in that other video, basically by pen and paper, explaining how to do k the largest, k the smallest. 
those types of things. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this question. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys.